And depending on how much time we have, we may go on to another sheet, but we'll just kind of see how it goes, all right? We have right here this anatomy of an exponential function. And here you have 1 plus r, which is 1 plus the rate, r stands for rate, is equal to your base. And if your base is greater than 1, you have growth. If your base is less than 1, you have decay. If your B, if your R is greater than 0, we have growth. If your R is less than 0, you have decay. So that's the nature of our exponential functions. So we get right here, and I can spin a wheel. Let me spin a wheel. Let me spin a wheel on this thing. No. Okay, again, let me just go ahead and, and tell you something. Our base is equal to 0.968. And the formula for base, base is equal to 1 plus r. You remember that? Yeah, so we'll go ahead and spin a wheel on this one. You'll tell me what it is, somebody. And it's going to be Karina. Karina gets picked first a lot on this thing. But it was, seems like it's random. Though. I have faith in its randomness. All right, Karina. What do you think about this? You said 3.2 percent? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure that's the case. So if we have our base 0.968 equals 1 plus r, and we subtract 1, we get r is equal to negative point. 032. Is that what you got, Karina, for that? Yeah. And then so in percentage, it's going to be um, percentage will be negative 3.2 percent. But the word decay comprehends the negative sign. You see that? So therefore, we will have our answer here. Okay. Pretty, pretty simple, I hope. Okay, let's go on to the next one. And I want, I want you to do that one. I'll choose somebody here. In half a minute for number four. Somebody else besides Karina. Okay. And one thing I didn't mention, I do want to mention about this, is this one here, 5607, what is that called? Initial value. Initial value, thank you. So let's go ahead and spin our wheel. Chloe, she's not here today. It's going, to, it's going to be Justin or Robert, Justin or Robert, Justin, Justin. Okay, Justin, what do you got for us? Here? So, rate of 1.32 percent. Yeah. You know something? I don't know if it says. It's, just take the one off. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's 0.32 percent. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll change that one to zero. How's that? 0 0.32 percent. Does everybody, everybody get that for the same reason, right? We have. I didn't get that. You didn't get that? Let's do this. Let's do this here. We have our base is equal to 0.99. Six eight. So it's going to be, that's going to be plus R, and we subtract 1. I got negative 0.0032. What did you do in Did you put the negative 1 first? I guess, yeah. Did you do 1 minus that? Yeah, I subtracted. Let's look at this here. Mm -hmm. I, I get the same answer, though. If I subtract 1 from, but I don't get the negative. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Then I just did the math wrong in my head. I so that's your so that's going to be your rate and then if you multiply that by 100 you'll get the percentage rate right so negative 0.32 and the negative sign translates to the word decay here right so that's going to be it thank you Justin and Becky and Robert all of our good students here okay let's go on to number five Okay, I will choose somebody for this one. To me, this one, this one looks it's a little different, challenges your intuition a little bit. I find on this one, if you follow the formula, you'll be okay. Let's talk about what that is, and we will get one of our, could be the birthday boy, and it is going to be the birthday boy. Yes, it is. I jinxed him. I, I said I, I called it. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, well, I'm just going to... The base is two. So so base equals two. is equal to two. And then equals one plus r. Subtract the one. Plus x. So one, one equals, equals r. r. And or d or is. Growth, okay, growth. Yeah, 30%, 10%. You have to multiply about 100. That'd be 100%. Growth rate of 100%. Okay, so if something, if something doubles, like I have a bank account that has $100, and that bank account a month later has two hundred dollars. It doubled, but that was a hundred percent increase of my bank account because it yeah. took that value of that bank account and added it again to my bank account, and so that's that's what this is. So yeah, this is like uh, compounding. That's an amazing compounding. Anyway, that's our answer. And what I do like about the way Robert did this is that he he so he he really used the formula didn't he he came down here and it, to me it's not super intuitive what it is but when you use the formula and follow through and kind of think things through you'll usually come out okay all right next one here you can do that one i'll spin the wheel here in a short while.
Okay, let's get this wheel spinning. Elizabeth, is this your Elizabeth? Okay. So you say 95% decrease, you said, dec I'm just using your words here, equals 95% rate of decay, right? Okay, really good. Let me uh, go to that next one. And, okay, here we have a, another type of problem here. It's the 7 through 18, determine the exponential function that satisfies the given conditions. So we go to this, back to this anatomy of a function here. Before I, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Before I do that, what it is, your, your A of, t, I'm going to call it population, P of T equals A times our base, but our base is going to be in this condition here to the power of T. And here, what you're going to do is replace this initial value here, A, with 5. And then for your, your base, you're going to have your R is going to be your decimalized version of that, or 0.17%. So your base is going to be 1 plus 0.17. So you're going to have 1.17. So you're going to have 5 times 1.17 to the power of t. So that's what that would look like. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, call on a volunteer for problem 8. And on the fresh wheel, we don't have a lot of options here. We have two though. So we're going to have Riley or Becky or Riley. Or Becky. Okay, what do you think here, Becky? I think the f of x equals 52 times 1.023x to the x. 1.023 to the power of x. Mm -hmm. Now in this case, she didn't use T, she used X, and you'll see that quite often. Like I use T in my example, but X is used a lot. And what's one advantage of using X? What, what, what's the advantage of using X, you said? The advantage of, the advantage of X is, is you can just put it in the calculator like this, okay? So this is a calculator friendly, friendly graphing calculator friendly, whereas T isn't going to work in that in your calculator. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next one here. And I think I know who are. Okay, Riley, you ready to do this one?
That's okay. Go ahead. Um, I got P of T equals 52 times 1.023. Actually, no, no, that's the last one. I got P of T equals 16 times 0.5. Sixteen times point five to the power of t, like that. Yes. Does that does that look right? Yeah, it is right because it's going to be point. This is this is you'll see this sometimes written as a half life problem, like that. That would be a half life type equation. We're going to go over that probably on Monday. Do more half life problems. Okay, I'm going to get a whole start over wheel here. Yeah. Okay. 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 So we went through that wheel pretty fast. Let me get the wheel up again. Ten. Who's going to do number ten for us? Justin, this wheel just loves you here. I have to maybe shuffle it first because it seems to get you right. Yeah, that's all right. But Justin, you'll be ready for it, right? Yeah. What do we got, Justin? What did you say? C. C. P. Of T. Does that look good? I think it is because you get you get uh, one hundred. You convert that to a rate. You get point oh five nine. Right. That's going to be our rate. And you subtract one from that. You get negative point nine nine four one. Okay, that's where you got it from, right? All right, good work. We'll call somebody for number 11. Okay, initial population. I'll spin this wheel here in half a minute. Okay, let's go ahead here. Oh, it's going to be our birthday. Well, I need to shuffle the next time. He's got a pattern going on. Okay. Let's look at this. I think the base is not right. Okay, 
you have your you have your rate is equal to two point six percent which which is the same as point oh two six right yeah I'm just trying to so you have our that's our rate so our base is going to be equal to one plus r but r is going to be negative right mm -hmm. so we have one plus negative 0 0.026 so what is that going to be 0.974 is this number here ever going to be negative mm -hmm. not in a not in a normal not in a normal standard uh, equation so this is going to be our answer here what happens is the, the negative, if, the, if this is negative, which the rate is, that's what makes the thing less than 1. So let's make N a decay or decreasing function. Okay? Thank you, Robert and others for helping the class. Let's look at this one here. Yeah, I'll spin the wheel on this one here. Half a minute. Okay. Let's go here. Let me. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a shuffle a couple, of three times. Chloe, <laughs> Chloe again. Just shuffle once and go again. We're gonna get you to something. Like that? Yes. Any any questions on that? To to me, the addition problems, like the the increasing ones, are easier to figure out. Just because you don't have to subtract from one, they just look easier to me. Okay, and I think on these next on this next set, we're introduced with something a little different here. Okay. No, this will be fine. I can do this one. I can choose a I can choose a victim for this one too. There you go. Okay, I'll choose choose a client for this one. It's going to be Riley. Okay, Riley, what do you think? Okay, does that look good? Yeah, I think that's a good solution right here. Okay. Go ahead and we'll spin on this one. We only have a couple. So it's going to be
Okay. Looks like we need Elizabeth. Alright, Elizabeth, what do you get for this one? Okay, so we got this one here is when you translate that to ray it's going to be 0 0.046 and you subtract that from one that's what you get okay all right the uh, the next set the next few ones are a little bit different here so so happens that Karina is our next, our next choice for this. So I'll just start out by asking Karina, if you, have you figured this one out, Karina? You know what this one does? Okay, so Karina will will share her understanding with us. Go ahead. Times two to x to to x one of x. Okay, is that it? Okay, but it's doubling every three days. How do we how do we account for this every three days? Okay, multiply what what by three? So where do you multiply three here? Okay, well, we got to kind of look at this here because you're doubling every three days, right? And so this is a good start. But it's right here, this exponent needs to be adjusted. Because if we plug in, if we plug in three, because we want to double every three days, let's try, let's try f of three to see what happens here. So what we're going to have here is, is 0 0.6 times 2 to the power of 3, and 2 to the power of 3 is, is 8. So this is going to be 0 0.6 times 8, or it's going to be, what is it, 4.8? Yes. Which is not going to be doubling, it'll be 8 times. Okay, so what, what can we do to adjust this exponent up here to make things work out right? Put, put what over 3? Yeah, it'll be this exactly, okay? So now if we plug in 3, f of 3, we get 0 0.6, and we get 2 to the power of 3 over 3, which is 2 to the power of 1, we would get 0 0.6 times 2, or 1.2. So now, after three days, we have doubled. Okay, so this, this fraction is what adjusts for that. All right? Now, what I want to do is get a, get a fresh wheel and spin on number 16. This is getting us to the end of class pretty well. Open. Fifth. So one last time. Yeah, let's 
spin. Okay, the fresh first wheel here. I'm going to go ahead and do some shuffling around here and see what happens for this next problem doubling every 7.5 hours so we get uh, this time we're going to start out with Elizabeth All right, Elizabeth, what did you get for this one? Does that look right? Yeah, it looks right. Okay. Let's go to number 17. I will choose somebody in half a minute for that. Looks like we'll get Karina again. All right, Karina. Zero point five, you said? 0.5 and that's going to be x over 6 and what's going to go over here to the left f of x okay does that look right that's the halving once every four years yeah that's going to do it because you can see that if we plug in 6 we'll get 6 over 6 or 1 and 0.5 to the power of 1 will be, will give us half of that. So that'll work out. Okay? Alright, let's go ahead and do that one here. And then I'll spin this wheel. Okay, let me shuffle this a couple times. There we go. Now we get Robert here. He gets picked on a lot for his birthday, it looks like. All right, Robert, what do you think? Seven. our left side here. Mm -hmm. What goes over here on the left? Okay, so is that is that it? Yeah, and then you can see if you plug in 32 or then we'll have one and that'll be half of 17 or eight and a half. Okay, the last couple here are, it's sort of like one we did yesterday, I think it was yesterday, 
Yeah, it was. We did a, that 11 and 12. We didn't finish it. And basically, what we're going to do is look for our what kind of things do we need to do this? We need we need two things, and what two things do we need? A base and an initial value. Okay, for f of x, what's going to be our initial value? 2.3. And what is our base? Yeah. So you can take 2.3 divided by 1.84, right? So 2.3 divided by 1.84, that will give us 1.25. So 1.25 is your succeeding base, and so that's going to be it. All right, the last one here, which is a similar type problem, which is 20, I want you to, to do that, and I'm gonna spin a wheel on that guy here very shortly. That will get us right to the end of class today. Actually, we are. Okay, what is our initial value going to be for this one? So, yeah, we'll say g of x equals negative 5.8. Times 0 0.8. That's 0 0.8. Our x. Is that going to work out? Yeah, that's going to work out. So that's where you don't see them usually as negative. But that's going to be it for today. We've got to the end of the class period and we're out of time. So. Yeah, good. Our 37.